or I just want to do a quick comment about the news that set social media aflame, that everybody on the internet had a appropriate reaction to, obviously. The Team USA Under-20 team losing on Wednesday to Japan's team in the IFAF semifinal of the World Championships. You know, everybody had a reasonable reaction, right? Basically, everybody freaking out. How do we lose this game? Oh, my gosh. Well, when you, when you look at the highlights, which I did, you'll see these aren't our best players out there. The speed, the size, the strength, it, it's very lacking compared to what you know that we have, especially those players that are going uh, to Division One schools here in the fall. They were lacking there. And I looked at some of the roster and some of those players, I couldn't find anything on them about where they're going to school, what the, anything about them, even if they're out of high school, where they're at, if they're with a college team, none of that. I know that there was, a, I think, a four-star commit to Notre Dame and a three-star uncommitted player that was on the roster. But when you really look at it, when I look at the team as it's constructed and looking at as, as the way it's constructed and looking at the players itself, there are players on there that I probably wouldn't have put on the on the field normally if I was playing a game in the fall. Now, I I feel bad. I feel like I'm piling on here. I don't want to pile on. I'm sure the players themselves feel bad enough that they lost. But we also have to have some realistic expectations. We don't send our best players a lot to this thing. We've had in the past some of these players that are in the NFL. There have been players that have gone and played for this team, this Team USA. But it's not a lot. And in fact, if you look at the world championships, the United States is not the defending champions. I don't think we are. Uh, so we're not just dominant where we're winning it every year, every time. And this is the first time ever we haven't won it. We're just not that way. And that's because, again, we don't send our best players. We'll have some players that will be going Division One that are on the team, but we don't send all of them. And uh, so we just have to have a reasonable expectation. Don't freak out. This is not the end of sports here in the United States. It's not the end of American football. But we have to have an honest conversation, not our best team. Uh, you can see it, just the way things were. Turnovers really killed them. And Japan jumped up on them quick. And the United States just never recovered. I mean, losing 41-20 is pretty bad. But there were basically, early on, like three or four turnovers just like that. When I watched the highlights, and you could just see, uh, if. The speed was not there compared to what you would expect from a U.S. team. So you can just know that our best players weren't there. Anyway, don't freak out. Don't lose your mind. The internet, of course, always has an appropriate reaction to something like this. You know, oh my gosh, we can't let this happen. And I know people want to believe that we can just walk out and put players out there and we're going to win the game immediately because it's our sport. But you have to remember, the game is growing in other countries. We have Americans. Uh, American players that are leaving colleges here and they're going and playing in the pro leagues in these other countries because they just want to keep playing football. You have American coaches going overseas, getting paid to go coach overseas. Uh, so the game is going to get better in these other countries. We just, we just have to understand. Now, maybe in the future, next time, we'll have some more players that would be going, maybe some players that uh, will be going Division One, better players saying, I, I want to be a part of this team because we can't lose. But I don't know. Anyway. Like I said, just my quick thoughts. Just want to kind of put them down for you guys. Don't freak out. Don't lose your mind. Everybody just needs to calm down. This is this is a silly controversy. All right. Well, let me know your thoughts down below. We'll see you next time. I do want to recognize the members of this channel at the booster level and above for their support. If you wish to have your name in a video just like this, make sure to check out the join link in the description below. Here on the end screen, you can see that there's another recommended video. Make sure to click that and watch it. Also, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future breakdown videos. I hope you have a great rest of the day.